Well, it's day 68, two more days, officially speaking, to go. I hope you guys are joining the, uh, the online classes, but I know most of you aren't because I know the numbers. Uh, in fact, I know who's showing up because, uh, well, that's the whole point of doing it over Zoom is we can see who you are. And we can correct your form, by the way, just in case you didn't know that. So if you do the online classes, we can still see what you're doing and uh, and we can help you. Well, Martina can help you. Okay, so every, uh, every day, well, Monday through Friday, uh, 7 a.m. and 6 p.m., do the online classes. They're there for you. All right. I'll read you some feedback here. My GP just cleared me for exercise, so I will get my three cardio sessions and three workouts in for the final week. This person was really, really sick. I under ate a couple of days this week due to being sick. It ended up being pretty serious virus, not COVID-19, thankfully, and just only I started getting it started getting over it last week. It's been two weeks since my first symptoms. I did my intervals today and my ears started to hurt and it seems to be triggering some gnarly coughing fits by the end. I can't seem to get my heart rate over 155 despite pushing myself as hard as I can. I did an online cat class with Martina yesterday and we'll log in again tomorrow for another workout. Is this our last check-in? This person writes, yes, it is your last check-in. This week was your last check-in. Uh, so here's some gratitude. This person writes, I am grateful my health is returning to uh, returning after two weeks of brutal illness. I'm grateful to my partner who was patient with my grumpiness and helped me out when I was at my most sick. I'm grateful to you and Martina who are great coaches. And for offering online classes to support us during these unusual, unusual times. I'm grateful I have space and equipment at home to keep working out and to my downstairs neighbors who don't mind the brief cardio invoked earthquakes. I'm also grateful for my wonderful neighbors who generously baked us cookies that we can't eat. That's right, you cannot eat. T minus four days till cookie time. I'm assuming their scan is last Sunday or Monday. Well, this came in today, so I guess it's a Sunday or Monday. All right, um, I want to tell you guys a story, and forgive me if you know this story. If you've done this challenge before, you probably know the story. But I always like to tell it because I think it's really, really cool. So um, it goes uh, like this. So uh, Martina's dad, who is no longer uh, with us, he died a few years ago. Um, he was born a uh, tribal Cameroonian. So, uh, he basically, he grew up in a mud hut and, um, you know, didn't know what running electricity was or running water or even like clothes for that matter. Um, well, he knew what clothes were, but you know, they didn't, it wasn't obviously native to, to them. It was, it came in through, um, different people who were uh, colonizing the area such as the Russians and the French, etc. Anyways, um, so her father used to um, walk out of his village and go to a school um, some ways away, which is quite a long walk apparently. And he used to get picked up by um, the Russian army. They would pick him up and they would take him to school. And um, you know, one of the things that the Russians did when they were colonizing the area is they, you know, they, they basically scouted the smartest kids. And uh, Martina's father was quite an intelligent young man, and they, uh, they offered him a scholarship to go to school in Russia. And, uh, of course, I don't, we don't really know what age he was because he doesn't know his age because he was born in the jungle and there's no record of when somebody's born. So... Um, but, you know, we figure some, that was somewhere probably around the age of 14 or 15. And uh, so here's this guy who's growing up near the equator, <laughs> you know, in a, in a 
in a uh, mud hut. Again, no running water, no no uh, electricity. Um, you know the you know pleasures in life are getting some clothing, really, or food for that matter. And uh, he gets you know transported to Russia, so he goes from a super hot climate to a super cold climate. She's never experienced in his life, and um, you know gets immersed in this sort of more industrialized type world, and um, didn't know what a bed was, didn't know what a toilet was, so he was sleeping on the floor still when he got to university. He was still sleeping on the floor, and he was going to the washroom outside because he didn't know any better. So, um, had didn't know the language, had to learn the language. And uh, he went on to earn two different PhDs, a PhD in math and a PhD in physics. And uh, so the reason I'm telling you this story is, uh, well, I do always tell the story because I think it's really cool, and I give you just the Coles Notes version of it. But you got to think, like, the way that this man lived every day. So, you know, we think about the time right now and how hard it is, but, you know, really, you know, you compare your life to, say, the story I just told you. And... Um, you know, we are we gotta be so thankful for everything we have, right? So thankful. So really, really cool story. You know, you I can't imagine what kind of gratitude or appreciation you might have for the simplest things in life when you come from a background like that. So uh really, really, really cool. And uh unfortunately I never actually got to meet her dad, but I wish I had. Um, all right, so message of the day. I can accept failure. That is, I can accept failure, but I can't accept not trying. So just in case you happen to maybe not be doing very much in this challenge or anything at all for that matter, I'm going to read you that again. I can accept failure, but I can't accept not trying. And I'll leave it there for today. Okay, day 68. Keep submitting and committing. And if you're not, start doing it. And then book your scan if you haven't. And let's finish this uh, challenge off strong, okay? Positive energy, positive vibes. Send me your gratitude and for the love of God, believe in yourself. Day 68, you've got two days, officially speaking. Two days to finish this as best as you can, okay? And maybe I'll start the next one because I'm still running the next one, by the way, okay? We just might have to make some few adjustments. Talk to you guys all very soon. See ya.